uh, okay, so hello YouTube. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D render somewhat uh, related to, um, actually, to load, like this. Uh, I made this for a friend, but yeah. Uh, so basically, this is a free tutorial. Uh, so what you need is to download the Timmy's Minecraft rig version 4 blank blank file so um i will have a link to this um blank file in the description but um yeah so that's just for now i'm sorry if i talk a little slow i can just hear my voice echoing through the headphones so i feel like i need to talk slower but whatever so first you want to open up the blend file or you can just uh i recommend you just do it like that and you're gonna get this kind of menu it looks kind of kind of uh, how do I say this? It looks, um, it just looks a little intimidating, I think, but, yeah, um, okay, so what you can do is you can, uh, right-click this, so I'm guessing you do know the basics of Blender, and if you don't, just, uh, watch the tutorial about the basics of Blender, so I'll give you about three seconds to pause the video and come back, so, see you there. Okay, so I'm guessing you do know the basics of Blender at this point. So, first, if well, it kind of depends, but right click this thing right here. It's like this little uh, shape. So, go to this side menu right here and drag this all the way to one. And uh, what you can do is just right click this little head right here, uh, go over here, hit that X, open desktop. And just just open up your skin file. Uh, okay, this is gonna be. Um, I'm not gonna do this because I didn't really feel like editing. Um, where how do I put these? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna open up my friend's skin. Uh, Minor Caber 101. Yeah, you might know him. I sound kind of like him. But I'm not him, or am I? I, I have no clue. Alright, whatever. I, I, I'm not him. But uh, so you need to right click that, and you have your skin loaded. If you do have a 1.8 layer, this is what it might look like. I'm gonna open up another skin's friend. Another no, another friend skin. That sounded weird when I said it. Um, this is JK27 skin. Uh, so he does normally have glasses, sunglasses on. But don't worry, when you get rendered, glasses on, everything, yeah. So, I guess, I guess we can use this skin. Okay, so, uh, if you want to make like a little pose, um, no, it's hard to look at it because it's all black. Um, okay. Open desktop. And we're just gonna use I think it's easier to see. This is another friend's skin. Uh, so you can just okay make a little pose by right-clicking these little things. And um, what you can do is you can do that. Bring that up. This is a really weird pose. You can do this if you want to. Um, I guess I guess we'll just stick to this pose. Um, this is the pose I'm using. Um, if I guess if you want to use this render, I, I might make like a media fire or drop down, drop drop box link to this. Although it's gonna look really bad, so I don't know why you'd want to use it, but whatever. Some people might want to use it. So here's the thing: if you want to make like him um holding like a sword. Or like an axe, whatever you want to use. Uh, what you need to do is, uh, um, where's my GPS over here? I don't really like that pose. I don't really like this pose in general, to be honest. Um, just gonna go like this. What you can do is file, uh, file, depend, and then the cycles of Minecraft rig. It, I'll have a link to the description for it. So if like 
if you're a beginner with Blender, this is actually something you're gonna want to use. So this has like almost all of the Minecraft uh, items. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use uh, a gold sword. So just right click, click, right click. No, let's click that two times. Uh, if you want to put it in his hand, just right click it, move it around. Actually, uh, yeah, just move it around. I'm gonna try not to mess up these tutorials. Oh, they're really embarrassing because it's close enough to embarrassing. Um, yeah. So I'm not the best with Blender, but I do know how to do this. Um. This. Oh, by the way, this. I'm pretty sure this. If you want the best out of Blender, this is gonna require like a numpad. If you don't know what a numpad is, it's like this uh, keyboard with a set of other numbers and stuff on the very far right, which a lot of computers do have. But I'm using a Mac for this tutorial. But yeah, it's a little different from Windows, if you didn't know. Uh, if you think that the sword is too big, you can just uh, click S and you could resize it. And yeah, the skin is Lion O skin, if you didn't know. But uh, yeah, so let's just smooth this over and let's take a quick look to see if I did get in his hand correctly. But I do think this is pretty good so far. I, I don't know. Okay, let's uh, make this run it out really quick. And, um, let's just hope this renders quick. No, let me just restart it. But, I, yeah, I got it in the sand. Uh, I'll just push it back real quick. Because you should probably have at least a small chunk sticking out. Um, yeah, uh, it's pretty much that. Uh, if you want to rotate this, just rotate it if you want. If you want to, just rotate it. That's going to rotate the whole body. If you didn't know, um, if you make a mistake by accident, like, uh, just left click it. If, if you're scared you're gonna make a mistake or something, but what you can do is just do, oh wait, no. Okay, that was bad. Um, uh, no. Don't need to do that. I think it's because, or is that why? Maybe? Wait. Nope. Well, okay, whatever, you get the point. So, you can... You just do R90, sometimes it'll work. Oh, it's because RZ90. Yeah. RZ90. RZ90. And RZ90. There you go. So you can basically rotate it by doing RZ90. If you uh, right click it. So now, if you just got this, and if you want to make this like into a thumbnail, profile picture, banner, whatever, uh, it's gonna look kind of ugly having this beginner profile picture. I mean, that'd be a mad mess. And so, what you wanna do is you wanna right click this camera right there. Don't delete it. So, uh, I wanna do this. And I think this is the easiest way if you do this for your settings. And so, now if you um, right click this, hit zero, zoom out a bit. Uh, you can do this by having like a mouse with like this little scroller ball kind of thing. Uh, if you don't have one, just run to the store or something. You can just like do it like you're scrolling down the screen or something. Uh, so what you can do now, just zoom in and see if that works. If you want to make this look more like a square. Hmm. I think I'm just going to do it like a square. 
No, because that's gonna look it's gonna not gonna look very high quality. Three fifty by three fifty. So the resolution is like everything, it's just like megapixels. If you want it, make it like closer, make it whatever you want. Uh, I like it right here. And now, um, if you are happy with it, then just, uh, I'm trying to find a place where I can make it transparent. So you're going to film and, and right tick transparent I'll put desktop and uh, you can stick it right there because that oh wait I didn't let's go to the name um tutorial um render PNG you can make it a PNG if you want uh, I think it's supposed to be a PNG as far as I'm concerned uh here I can film it right there and what you can do is you want to go over here to render and image and just wait for it to render it's going to be a little slow for me but uh, yeah you can see all the pixels this is taking forever yeah you, you pretty much get the point uh yeah thanks for watching I will see you in the next video, I think. And if this if this wants to load up, then who was flickering the light? Do -do 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 -do. Oh.